Hey, how you doing? Okay, last week we put up a video about how to show a door open or close in 3D. Now, we did it with kind of just smoke and mirrors. It was really two doors, and we you know, you turn one on and turn one off, and it's kind of trickery like we do a lot of things in Revit. Okay, but somebody, uh, a subscriber, Jared McGowan, actually, hello, uh, Jared, uh, he asked, well, what if we want to control the angle the doors uh, open at? Okay, can we do that? The answer is yes, we can do that, but it's a little trickier, uh, but we're going to go ahead and do it, okay? Okay, we're going to use the same door, okay, so the, the, the same Revit door, the door internal single, uh, I'm going to go into the family environment, uh, I'm going to keep this video simple, okay, so I'm not going to do anything with the handle, which is not, kind of, with this version could be a bit tricky, but it's also very doable. Uh, we're just going to do the door panel with no design, just that rectangular flat panel, okay? Uh, and I'm not going to, I was going to make some restrictions on it so you can only open it a quarter or a half, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to have it so you can open it by angle you choose, okay? Uh, and if there's anything further than that you want, let me know and we can do another video on that. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to find the uh, the 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 intersection point for the the angle of sorry the, the 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 reference point for the angle of rotation, so the the kind of the pivot point, and it's just here, okay, where the the door closed. You can see in the door open, you can see that point there. That's our angle. That's our point of rotation, okay. So I'm going to find those two reference planes. Use my tab button, okay, and uh, I'm going to select them both, and Using the temporary hide, I'm going to isolate elements, okay? I'm going to create a reference line, not a reference plane, reference line, from the point of intersection. Just drag it off to the left here. Escape, escape. And I'm going to align and lock that to the reference plane. So using my align tool with lock selected, I'm going to pick the reference plane. Tab till I find the point at the end of the line. Use the reference plane, tab to the point, okay? And I'm going to create, sorry, I'm going to use my... Uh, dimension, angular, from reference plane line to reference plane. Escape, select the reference. Sorry, the dimension and assign parameter. There isn't one, so we're going to create one. Uh, door opening angle, I suppose, and we put that as an instance parameter. Okay, just so you can do it by door instance. Okay, and. Just to show that works, just change that to 10 or 0. See, it works, okay? So, 30. Now, if you're a more experienced uh, user now and you're watching this, you're, you're probably thinking of the, the, the problems, which I've already thought of as well, which is if you go to 0 with some geometry on that and then try to go back off 0, it's going to explode, okay? So, we have a solution to that, okay? The other thing I want to do then quickly is just create another reference line perpendicular to this one from the same intersection there. Okay, escape, escape. And I'm going to dimension angle, degree angle on these, okay? Block. Okay. Right, so I can unhide everything. Reset temporary hide. I'm going to go and create the door panel now, okay? So what I'm going to use is a generic model face based. And that'll make sense in a minute uh, when we place it in. So file, new, family, generic model, face based, open. Now, the we can create the width, depth, and height parameters. That's no problem. But uh, you'll see that, that they don't exist already in the the family. So just a little shortcut that we we which we probably should do anyway is uh, we change the category up here to doors, and then. We get all those parameters inbuilt, okay, which is kind of handy. Okay, so create tab, reference plane, not reference line, reference plane, usual stuff, left and right of the vertical, and then top and bottom of the horizontal, okay? And we use the same thing, dimension to the center, the other one equals dimension to the center, the other one equals, and that guy's our height, and this fella here is our width. Escape, escape, select that. Apply width parameter. Select this one. Apply height parameter. Go into a front elevation. We're going to need to create the thickness. So create tab, reference plane, reference plane across, uh, dimension of the reference level. Escape, select the dimension and apply thickness. Okay, it's going to make it 40. Back into our reference level. So create extrusion. 
Use the rectangle tool as the handiest. Go from corner to opposing corner. Whoops. Do that again. Corner to opposing corner. Click, click, chickity chick. Okay. Uh, and okay. Now while that's selected, I'm going to assign material. A new parameter. Uh, material. Okay. okay. Go into my front elevation and. I could use my align tool, obviously, but I'm just going to use my little pull handles, little grab handle there. Pull it to the reference level and lock. And pull this guy down to the reference plane. Once it, it uh, meets it, it gives me the lock option. That's fine. That's done. Okay. Actually, that, that is it done now. So uh, I'm not going to save this. Okay. You'll find in my videos, I tend not to save these nested families just for the speed of the video. Okay. But you should be saving these in a, in a library and make a... So you can use them again. Okay. So I'm going to just load that into the project and close now into internal door single yeah that's the one save it no okay so we've options up here vertical face is already selected now so that's the one i want anyway so i'm going to go to my reference line and it's finding that as a vertical face okay but that's the wrong side of the reference line i know it's not going to the other side okay so when you're on it just click your space bar to get to the other side okay that's it escape escape i'm going to use my dimension tool here from this reference line to the end of the door, escape, escape, select the door, select zero, or sorry, change that to zero, and there's a lock, there it is. Okay, so select the door, and we're gonna assign the, the parameters, uh, edit type, uh, material, assign door material, or material door, for, oh, do you know what we didn't do? We didn't do the, 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 oh, we did, sorry, we did. Thickness, uh, assign, uh door panel thickness uh width assign parameter door panel width and for height guess what <laughs> yes door panel height okay so we have the material and the dimensions assigned that's okay done now uh, see it looks like the other one now okay uh so we have a constraint uh you know horizontally let's say we need to constrain it vertically as well. So if you go to an exterior elevation, this, that's our guy there. So you can see if I, uh, if I push it up, it, it'll, it, it's going, so it shouldn't. We want to constrain it, okay? The other door is constrained, is constrained at the center to the reference planes above and below, but we could do that, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna constrain it to this one, this reference plane that's already there, okay? Which the other one is indirectly constrained to. So constrain to this one, so align lock, done, uh, into 3D. There's our door. Uh, we don't want to see that plan, actually. I forgot about that. So select the door. Visibility graphics override. Edit. And uh, we'll just take out the plan. Okay. Done. All right. So we've no more use for this door. I'm going to just delete it. Uh, done. The handles go. No, there. We need to delete the handles, too. Uh, okay. That's it. So if we load that into the project and close now. I'm going to save it now. Obviously, you should actually create a new version of the store. You don't want to have uh, you want to have your own version and the Revit version, okay, in your project. So I'm just going to not save it for now and load it in. Override. So let's have a quick look at this guy in 3D and see what's what. Is it working for us? <laughs> I hope it is. Oh, do you know what? Uh, did I change the angle by? I did. I did. In, um, instance parameter. Okay. So that open at 30 degrees. So I can change that to zero. Apply. Change it to. 45, apply, ID, apply, I think you get the idea, right? I wonder what happens if I change it to 120. Let me actually check that. What works? Did the door move though? It did. Hmm. So that doesn't, that's going to mess up your door. You can do it, but you're going to have to realign your door. Okay. So that's that. Listen, that's helpful. As I said, the, there's another little job you putting in the door handles on the face based uh, door. If you need help with that, let me know. We'll make another video. We could also uh, we could also constrain it so that you can only open it by at 45 degrees and 90 degrees or closed or whatever way you want to. We could do that. Uh, there's another bunch of uh, parameters, let's say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look, if you found it useful, uh, let me know. Uh, comments help. Uh, appreciate the thumbs up. Like, guys, give it a like and uh, send it on to somebody else. Maybe you could get some use out of it. And if you haven't already subscribed, just click that button up there. I appreciate it, guys, and have a good day, okay?
Thanks, bye.